Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why you need workers' compensation insurance to protect yourself. Coming up. Hi everyone. This is Ernesto from Attaboy Cowboy. And on this channel, we give you health and wealth tips to help you be successful. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about workers' compensation insurance for protecting your assets. Now, most people would think, why would I need workers' compensation insurance if I don't own a business or a big company? Well, in certain states, you have to have it. So even if you hire a babysitter or a gardener, or you hire some kid to come pull some weeds in your garden, if they hurt themselves, you're liable for all their medical costs and for lost wages. So it opens you up to a lot of liability. The reason I found out about this is that one of my friends that owns properties hired some guys from the Home Depot to do some work for him. That day, the guy said, hey, look, I cut my finger. And my friend said, okay, well, what can I do? He got him some Band-Aids. He wrapped them up. He looked like he was fine. The guy went home. He thought it was the end of the story. All of a sudden, a couple months later, he gets a lawsuit in the mail. And he starts explaining to me how this whole cottage industry works. Basically, there's Department of Labor. And anybody, whether you have papers or not, can go to the labor board and make a complaint, say that they got hurt and you didn't pay them, or that you didn't give them their 15 minute breaks, or that you didn't pay them their overtime, or whatever the case may be. Most people think that only applies if you own a business. It applies to everyone. Even if you get someone from down the street to babysit for you, and they stay for 10 hours, you still have to legally pay them overtime. So apparently it's pretty much a slam dunk. These people that my uh, friend had hired went to labor board and he said there were attorney representatives there waiting and there's a big line outside the office he actually drove me over there to take a look at it and there's a bunch of people there that are waiting to file lawsuits against people once the state gets involved they investigate you the first thing they ask is do you have workers comp insurance almost nobody buys that for their home so you're automatically out a hundred grand. And that's what happened to my friend. He had to pay a hundred thousand dollars because he hired a guy from Home Depot to help him do some repairs around this house. And he didn't have workers compensation insurance. Now I know it's a pain in the butt, but at least it's not that expensive. You just have to at least have the minimum coverage. Now I personally have an umbrella policy and I know that my colleagues I talk to, they get an umbrella policy and then they get workers' comp insurance so that it covers the minimum amount of liability under workers' comp. That way you're not having to pay out that $100,000. A workers' comp policy right now in California is running about $800 for a, a minimal policy and that'll help cover you so that you're not having any issues. Now, I'm talking to you today from my property that got burned. We just had a fire here last week and I'm preparing to reconstruct it and I'm already preparing. So this is one of the things that you need to check off to make sure that you're safe during the construction process. Make sure you have workers' comp insurance. Whoever you hire, whatever contractor you hire, make sure they have workers' comp insurance. Otherwise, the liability falls on you as the property owner. I check to make sure they have it, but I also buy my own, just in case they subcontract the people. I don't wanna be liable. So thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you.